the issue is that when what God has promised looks like it is slipping off your hands, that is the exact time faith is known. Do you understand what I'm saying? When it is clear, I may never have this thing again. Let me give you an illustration of that. I want to give you an illustration. Imagine. Look at this situation. All right? Look at this situation. God told you that this sister is your wife. Two months after God said that, you didn't even have to go and meet her. You are just becoming friends, just gisting. This is all these brothers that will be talking on WhatsApp. Then the sister just sent a message to you that, please pray along with me. I'm having introduction with my fiancé. The first thing that will happen is that saliva will dry from your mouth. You are confused, you are sweating, you are all that. She noticed that he didn't reply on time and he replied with, oh, praise God. <laughs> are you following what I'm saying? And then, so maybe somehow you are expecting that when they go for the introduction, they for it to happen. They did the introduction clean and clear. Everything happened. And in your sincerity, you went back to God. He did not say no, he didn't say yes. When God has spoken, and situations are happening contrary to what he said and he did not speak again he's saying i'm still where i was do you understand what i'm saying listen up. it is very easy to wait when the wind is not that contrary but the moment everything happening is against what god has said he will do that's why we know men of faith all right even at that moment can you see about them tell, tell my speech father has shared this to himself so i can share it all right <laughs> mama was all right he had done introduction with somebody else and god had told him for over 10 years before that that's your wife and the person has done introduction after introduction they went to check genotype they said the thing they didn't know what it is ah. what i'm trying to show you is that sometimes god allowed the thing get to the extreme to see who you are he did the same thing with Abraham now. He said, kill Isaac. He did not talk on the road and say, Abraham, you are a good man. It was until Abraham tied Isaac and raised the knife to slash his throat. Then God said, don't lay your hand on that guy. Now I know that you fear me. What could have happened? The same God is on the throne. It's the venison of Esau. God said, no. Did I not say to you before that this belonged to Jacob? God can interrupt. Rebecca and Jacob were too fast because of fear. When you interrupt the process of God, you elongate your wilderness experience. Are you following what I'm saying? You elongate it. You cannot get the result of faith in the energy of the flesh. You cannot bet an Isaac in the flesh. Listen now, when you look at Abraham trusting God for a child, was he impotent? But in Sarah, will your seed be called now? God has said, the seed I want to give you. This is the woman that so the issue was not abraham's inability to impregnate other women he could do that every day of his life and it was proven with Ega. which is my next series isaac and ishmael to study how a man can bet two extremes and how to avoid the pitfall all right he could do it he could do anything he wanted to do but faith now is i choose to do it your way i'm saying the things you are waiting on god for you can do it your way all God honors is that you forsake your own way to say, I choose to do it His way. <laughs> That's faith. Amen. Say, I walk in faith. Come on, say it again. I walk in faith. All right. So I'm going somewhere with the story, this story of Esau and Jacob. Okay. So let's turn our Bibles. We, we read this on Sunday. I just want to reiterate, then I show you a few things about this place. All right. So, if you look at the life of Jacob, you see smartness every time, trying to outsmart. He's a guy with so many formulas. He knows the way. No, no peace. He's not, he's, he's right. There's no rest for him. His head is always calculating. Like, this one doesn't work, it work. All right? If Nigeria no work, Japan or UK. If UK no do, Jamaica or to Australia. All right? You look at all these formula. The person has options and you cannot see where God is in the equation. You can do life. And you can have an economy that you can even be preaching about that is a product of you not considering god there is a success that you can actually get outside god but good success comes from waiting on him 
are you following what I'm saying here? So this guy, no, no, no rest. Every time agitated and all that. You look at the story, Genesis 32. When they were going to go and meet Esau, he has already divided the thing. He has said, okay, you people should go here. I will come. Then another strategy is that we're going to send this. And then when we send that, it's just like church. Somebody is planting a church. He says, this person doesn't pray, doesn't fast, doesn't seek the face of God. Say that by time, all right, somebody was sharing with me something. Somebody went to plant a church somewhere, all right, in a, in a city. The person came to the city with millions of naira millions of naira listen to what i'm saying millions of naira the fellow began to say things like we are going to take over this city we are going to take over this city we are going to take over. when people are talking from their own human advantage it sounds like fate until that point of the advantage is broken all right where was he talking from we'll take over this city because we have money so they will run service and every sunday they sit people down and share millions of naira and say you people will do this strategy for billboard this strategy for that listen to what i'm saying the one who came with god They'll be looking at him ahead. Are you following what I'm saying here? Human effort. Say we are going to we run this strategy. This is... At the end of the day, you spend over 50 million, six members. People will tell themselves that ah, when I went to that church, they gave full chicken you know, or first time package. All right, hostel people, they'll tell their people in the hostel. So you are you, you go and run them. We will go around another church. If it is not grace, it can't look like it. Are you following what I'm saying? It is this smartness, oh. It is this wisdom, oh. It is this, I know what I can do. I know what I should do. I know the route. I know. When you come to the end, you'll find God.